Hey everybody, I'm here today to talk to you about six tips for reversing safely. In this video, I'll be going over six simple pieces of advice that will help you be safe while you reverse a car. All right, let's get right to it. Tip number one is signal if needed. Now, many people signal while driving forward, but then forget to signal in reverse. They don't think about signaling in reverse because they think that it's unnecessary or they think that it's just a little too much to remember. Now, listen up closely. When you're reversing and you're turning the steering wheel and you don't signal, People are not going to know what your plans are. So you're relying on yourself being positive that you don't see anyone there or anything there. Now, if you're wrong, if you miss, if you don't see someone there and you use your signal, that person might be able to get out of the way before you reverse into them because they're seeing that you're reversing in that direction. So they can say, wow, let me move out of the way. That person is reversing in my direction. So signal if needed. Now, obviously only signal if it's ne if, if you should be signaling. If you're not turning the steering wheel and you're reversing straight, then you probably shouldn't be using a signal. But if you're turning the steering wheel to the right, you should be signaling to the right. You're turning the steering wheel to the left, you should be signaling to the left. Now, with that being said, that brings us to tip number two which is master the art of steering in reverse. Now, this is one of the hardest things for beginner drivers to master simply because when they're steering forward, they have a good perspective, but when they're steering in reverse, they turn their head around and that makes it hard for them to figure out which way to turn the steering wheel. Now, with regards to steering in reverse, okay, you should have your perspective as facing the front. Okay, so if you can imagine facing the front, even as you're turning your head and you're looking behind you, then it's easier to steer in reverse. And that's because when you turn the steering wheel to the left, if you're looking forward, but you're in reverse, if you turn the steering wheel to the left, the rear of your car is going to go to your left. You turn the steering wheel to the right, the rear of your car is going to go to your right. Let's move on. Tip number three is wait a few seconds after putting your car in reverse. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that you're waiting a few seconds, okay? Now, when you put your car in reverse, your reverse lights should go on as long as they're working properly. And if you just start moving back right away, then what happens is there might be someone behind you that you didn't see. But if you put your car in reverse and you wait a few seconds, then everyone around you becomes automatically alert that you're going to be reversing and they sort of make sure that they get out of the way just in case you didn't see them. Now, obviously, you're going to be checking all around the car, but you never know. We're humans. We make mistakes. Sometimes we don't see things or see people. So with that being said, you don't want to cause any harm to anyone or anything. So put your car in reverse and wait at least a few seconds before you actually move back. Tip number four, look all around. Now there are a few things that will help you when you're reversing. Your rear view mirror, your side mirrors, and also all of the windows and open spaces around your car. So when you're reversing, what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that you are able to see everything around your car. Look in all of your mirrors, okay? Look in all of your mirrors, make sure that you're able to see everything, and then also turn your head, look through all of the windows and windshields everywhere and everything that's what you want to do you want to make sure that you're looking all around as much as possible now don't rely only on your mirrors and also don't rely only on looking around you want to combine both of them to put yourself in the safest reversing situation possible tip number five move slowly when you're driving in reverse, your vision and your sight is going to be massively limited in comparison to driving forward. And with that being said, you want to move as slowly as you need to, to get to reverse safely. That means that if you're driving an automatic car, you don't want to push down on the gas pedal. You just want to work the brake pedal to sort of get the speed that you need to get. Work the brake pedal in reverse. Okay, and also, if you're driving a manual car, you don't wanna press the gas and fully release the clutch. You wanna work that biting point of the clutch to make sure that you're moving slowly. You wanna move as slow as you need to to reverse safely. Like I said, when you're driving straight and when driving forward, you can see so much. When you're driving in reverse, because we're looking this way and we're constantly turning our heads and our bodies, our vision is massively limited in comparison to driving forward. So just because your vision is limited, your speed should be, should be massively limited as well. Last but not least, number six, and that is be ready to brake. 
Now, like I said, because your vision is massively limited, you have to always be ready to react and brake if necessary. So that means, you know, if you're driving an automatic car, like I said, hover over the brake. If you're driving a manual car and your foot is controlling the gas and the clutch together and you're moving slowly, be ready always to just press that brake pedal down. Be ready to just slam on the brakes. And like I said, that's because it's much easier to miss seeing something when we're looking around the car and with our mirrors than when we're simply looking in front of the car. When you're simply looking in front of the car, you have a massive amount of vision in front of the car. But when you're looking in reverse, your vision is limited. So always be ready to brake. I mean, obviously, double check everything before you reverse. Make sure that it's safe to do so before you reverse. But then you know, always be ready to brake because you can check 10 times and you still might miss something or someone and you don't want to cause harm or injury to anyone or anything. So always be ready to brake. Just always be prepared to push that brake pedal and always be fully aware and fully awake when you're reversing. They all go hand in hand together. And that's basically it. In this video, I've gone over six tips for reversing safely. If you like the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. What are some other tips for reversing safely? Let me know down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great car and driving videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.